Hello guys, welcome to my channel Artisans Web. In today's video, we are going to see how to create multi-language website in Laravel framework. For example, we just take two string and I will show you how to convert this string into the another language. So for instance, let's take example that we need to create German language website and this text should convert it into German version. Welcome should be whatever we call in German. How are you? Same word, same sentence in German. So both should be get converted. So let's see step by step guys. Now first of all, under the resource language directory, maybe here it seems difficult. Let me explore it. WW Laravel. So in the Laravel installation, resource lang. So here you need to create directory of the language in which you need to build your website. So for instance, we have to create language in German. So you need to first get code of German language. So this is the blog I have written on this same topic. I will paste this link in this video's description below. So here you can get the list of language code. So for German, I search it German. Yeah, it's German Austria, German Germany, D. So you need to just take first two letters. D. So I create folder DE here. DE under language DE. Now create one file under DE directory and save the file as messages.php. Okay. So in this file we have to declare our language code in the key value pair so for instance let's take example what we need to convert is welcome and how are you welcome and how are you you now let's search the word German word for Google translator okay welcome now German German German. So this is the word for welcome in German. I copy it and paste here. Same with how are you? Paste it here. Okay. Now Next one, open your app.php file under the config folder and find this local key. Here you need to set your language, DE. And to call this translated string, you need to use. So I just comment this. P curly brace yeah laravel provide this helper method for translation string so here we need to pass messages which is this file name messages and this one is the key welcome you can pass any key 
not necessary you must be passing uh, welcome you can pass any key now next one is p messages dot how are you okay now i refresh here we go welcome gets converted to uh, by this german word and how are you get converted with this one i think i forget question mark here question mark so this is the german version of how are you okay uh, now i need to pass name as well here because we have name sam here so in that case you can pass it in array format like i pass it name and sam so you just need to pass colon name here now it will gives us name underscore sam if i pass capital letter then it will gives me capital a okay so this one is uh, means this is all about messages dot php file if you have the less content on your website then this one is simple but uh, what i can say that if you have more content on your website normally in the message.php uh, you should not pass this whole string here because if you see here messages dot how are you so this string is not in readable format right you should pass here just a small key here means any user defined key here like how are you and pass here how are you so this one is more readable format okay but what if you have the uh, what i can say the lengthy statement the statement contains one line or some few words in that case laravel provide one more feature to handle this scenario for that you need to create one file under language directory give it name de means language code dot json okay now here you need to pass here you can pass any lengthy string or the uh, string which contains more words so i copy this and paste it here okay i give name as well name now to access this string now i delete it from here d.json yeah now i can pass this string directly here i don't need to use message word here how are you and same with name Sam. Okay. Our you name will get replaced by name. Yeah, that's it. Here we go. Okay. We don't no need to use this message messages word directly. We can pass string here and Laravel uh, search for this string in your d dot json file because. you have set local to d okay and you are using this helper method underscore underscore now one more thing you can see that for this we need to set language here means we need to modify our config app dot php file but what if you need to set your language run time so laravel provide that facility as well let's say you are giving support for two three languages of your website and you are giving something like drop down here 
to choose the language on which user tries try to view your website so maybe you are setting some logic over here on the selection of any language for drop down you are storing that language code in session or in database whatever logic you can apply so i just show you how to set language at runtime so open your controller file and under the constructor you can paste this code i show you set language at runtime yeah this one where it is product controller that's it now here i set my language code de and this one is revert to en like okay if i comment here so it will gives me english version okay now i set message dot welcome because um, we are passing yeah we are using messages keyword here but we are not set related language here so that's why it's print as it is now i set in runtime now let's see that's it so this is about setting creating multi language website in laravel framework so i hope you understand the tutorial if you have any questions or suggestions please leave a comment below thanks for watching video have a nice day